So we live in a van and I think that one of the biggest misconceptions about van lifers, people living on the road, is that we stink. We are not stinky all the time and we make an effort to stay hygienic when we're traveling and living on the road. And the truth is there are so many different ways to do it. So today we kind of want to walk you through all the ways to stay clean and keep your van clean while living on the road. And just to set the record straight, I'm stinky by choice, not because I live in a van. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, the first way and probably the most expensive way is to shower at truck stops. So truck stops usually have showers, but typically they're like seven dollars or sometimes even more the one and only time we actually ever showered at a truck stop was in quartzite and that's because there were no other gyms or options for us and yeah the showers were great but they were a little bit pricey So another way to shower on the road is to use a camping shower. And we just dug all the way through the back trying to find ours and we could not find it because we never use it. I think that we used it one time on Vancouver Island because all of the showers on Vancouver Island were closed. And when we did, we hung it up on this hook right here. This is one of the cheapest ways. And basically you just leave that bag on your dash or wherever outside to warm up throughout the day. It heats up the water inside of the bag. And then if you hang it somewhere, you can use that hose to shower yourself off. Another thing that we did at Vancouver Island was we utilized the public beach showers, which you'll find at most public beaches and they are free, which is great. Uh, however, I don't recommend doing that in Canada when it is freezing in December. So this now takes us to our main way of getting clean, which is using uh, public gyms. We pay for a gym membership here and we also get to use private showers. So it's pretty great. For most people that live in vans, this is true. Um, most people just have like a gym membership. It's a good way to get out of the van, get exercise. And on top of that, you're able to use a shower. Um, there are many different gym memberships that you can go with. Personally, we've gone with Anytime Fitness just because it has the most locations. Like you can find locations pretty much all around the world. And although the membership may be a little bit more expensive, you also get access to private bathrooms as seen here um, with memberships like Planet Fitness. That's often not the case. Usually the bathrooms are gendered and you're in there with a million other people. It's kind of an ugly day out today. I mean, hey, in true van life or fashion, I guess I didn't really need to shower because it was gonna rain anyways. But sometimes obviously you're between showers and sometimes if like we're going from one major city to another major city and there's a lot of driving, we honestly don't stop or try to find a shower along the way because we know that there's gonna be an anytime fitness in the next location. So for the in-between days, number one, any honest van lifer will tell you how much they love these. Our trusty baby wipes. Baby wipe showers are a thing in van life as well as the number two most beloved, dry shampoo. So whether you like it or not, usually when you're moving into a van, there's going to be some point where you're relying on these two things when you're in between showers. And some people may think that's disgusting, but that's van life, baby. And some van lifers will admit to washing their hair in the in-between times in the sink. Although for us, the sink is very small and not that convenient. So I have done that one time, but it was actually when I was dyeing my hair. This is actually where Rachel gives me my haircuts. <laughs> it looks um, so weird right now. I probably need to get a haircut. Um, but this is our electrical box right here. We've got our inverter. Um, so I just have my clippers. It's a rainy day today, so today is not a good day to be cutting hair. Uh, but typically we would just set up like a little lawn chair, like a beach chair. And uh, this is our hair cutting station. And yes, we wait for a sunny day because we are yet to cut any hair inside of the van. I feel like there's just too much hair and too small of a space. So the inverter being outside is really great, but we definitely can't do it in the rain or in the cold. And then one of the main questions we get while living on the road is how we do our laundry which to me is not a new thing. So a lot of the apartments that we used to live in actually did not have washer and dryers within the apartments. So we've been using coin laundry a lot throughout our 20s and we still do living in a van. When you live in a van, you have a limited amount of space. So typically having a big garbage can is 
not really on the priority list. So most van lifers will have a very small garbage can. Uh, in our case, we usually just have like a little bag that we keep our garbage in. So that typically means that we will be emptying our garbage pretty much every day um, because not that we have that much garbage, but just that our garbage is so small that it needs to be out of here. And you actually have to clean a lot more in general. So I find that we clean the van literally every day. Yeah, constantly. And we're like, because it's such a small space, it can get so messy so fast. So the main things that we use to clean, besides just like tidying things up, are Lysol wipes and our tiny little broom. But other than that, I think that that's basically everything that we do to keep clean on the road. Yeah, pretty much, I'd say so. The only thing that I think we missed is like how to stay sane, like our like mental hygiene on the road <laughs> that I did want to include in this video. But let us know if you want us to do a video like that in the future, because that's another topic that I think is really worth talking about. Although I think it would just be too much for this video. And if you've made it this far, you're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate that. Uh, and following along on our van hygiene journey. If you want to support us, um, just liking this video or subscribing is a huge help. We also have merch below that you can check out, and we also have a Patreon as well. But yeah, we really appreciate your viewership, and we hope you stick around for more videos. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.